The Mimetic Digitalis from Noise Engineering is a 10 HP, 16 step sequencer with four separate CV outputs plus an additional trigger out. Each CV pattern can be individually edited. This module is optimized for live performances and for changing patterns on the fly. The MD is stacked with a ton of great features for both CV modulation and melodic sequencing. I'll give you an overview of some of its functions, then I'll patch some examples so you can hear what it can do, and at the end of this video I'll jam out, showcasing everything we've highlighted in this video. You can advance each step in a number of ways. Adding a trigger signal to the in or next moves the sequence linearly. Adding to X moves the sequence along the horizontal row. Adding to Y moves the sequence along the vertical column. There's also a random trigger, the R input, which moves through the 16 steps randomly. And the O input brings the trigger back to the first step, the origin. And with the additional trigger out, you can send a signal each time the module advances a step. Patch as many or as few of these as you like. N, X, and Y also have their own CV inputs, so you can change the current step using CVs as well as triggers. CVN addresses the entire 16 steps, whereas CVX and CVY will just vary within a given row or column. You can pause the sequence at any time by switching to stop. Stop mode is the easiest way to make individual adjustments to your CV pattern. The step grid shows you the triggers moving along the 16 steps. The different color LEDs on the left are just a visual reference for steps 1, 5, 9, and 13. The edit knob is how you set the CV values for each channel. Push and turn to course tune the values. It's set so that each click on the knob when pressed is a semitone. Turning the knob without pressing puts it in fine mode, allowing you to tune each individual step to your liking, which is perfect for making melodic CV patterns. And if you don't like the CV pattern you generate with the knob, tap the undo button to revert back to the pattern that was last loaded or press and turn the knob again to record a new pattern. You can choose which of the four outputs to edit by tapping the channel selector buttons one through four. You can also select more than one channel at the same time. Also, double tap any button to deselect all other channels, essentially soloing the selected channel. The next, X, Y, and RAND buttons manually advance the module in their respective directions. You can advance the steps in either run or stop mode and the origin button always takes you back to the first step, which makes it useful as a reset. The origin trigger input can also be used to control pattern length or to synchronize the start of the pattern with another sequencer. The load and save buttons allow you to store and recall up to 16 sets of CV patterns. The zero button zeroes the value for the current step, or you can hold it down to zero multiple steps. Same goes with the shred button, which assigns a random value when pressed or multiple values along several steps when held down. So that's the panel and controls, let's hear some examples. There are a ton of ways to interact with this module. The easiest way to get started is by adding a trigger to the in input, outputting the signal to your favorite oscillator, selecting a channel, then pressing and turning the knob which records what you do. Here I'm getting a beat from Pamela's new workout and sending the CV out to the Manus Ateritas. You can also watch the CV's output through the oscilloscope throughout this demo. Okay, let's make some CV patterns. If you liked the previous pattern better, easy enough, just undo it. If you don't like that pattern, just override it with another press and turn. Okay, let's create patterns for channels 2, 3, and 4. You can also change more than one channel at the same time. Here I'll select channels 1 and 2 and make the changes to the CV in one press and turn.
or change all four channels at once. This ability to create patterns on the fly is what makes the Mimetic Digitalis optimize for live performances. Let's look at the various trigger inputs. Moving the input from N to X, the horizontal row, you can hear the change in the pattern. Moving it to Y, the vertical column, and then to R, giving it a random pattern. And back to N. Since the O input takes you back to the first step, the origin, you can create patterns that are less than 16 steps. Using the Clep Diaz, I can adjust the step count going to the O input, producing step counts of 12, 8, 5, or even 3. Let's add some CV to the CVN input to create some wacky transitions. Here's a very slow LFO sine wave, adjusting the linear sequence. Moving it to the CVX input, it changes the pattern along the horizontal rows. And adding it to the CVY, the vertical columns change. Let's switch to stop mode. Now we can move through the pattern manually using the next button, or the X button, or the Y button, or the RAND button. If you want to adjust the CV on the current step, it's easy to do. Just select which step you want to change in the channel, then press and turn the knob until you like what you hear. You can keep doing this by advancing through the steps manually. If you're doing melodic sequences with any of the channels, this is where the knob really shines. Since the knob changes the CV by semitones when pressed, you can create any 16-step sequence you like. Here I'm using channel 4 as a melodic sequence to the Manus Aeteritas. Just manually advance each step, change the note, go to the next step, change the note, and so on. The default mode for the knob is fine mode, so you can fine tune the step by turning the knob without pressing it. That way it's possible to have slight variations for each step, but also difficult to accidentally bump it out of tune. Once you're happy with the result, switch back to run mode. If you want to reset the sequence to the first step at any time, just press the origin button, or send a trigger to the O input. The zero and shred buttons are great ways to make changes to your sequence on the fly. Tap the zero button to zero out the current step, or tap the shred button to randomize the step. By holding down either one of the zero or shred buttons, the values carry through the sequence. Let's go into stop mode and make the changes to zero and shred modes manually. Decide what to zero and what to shred as you press the next button to move through each step. Then it's back to run mode with your customized pattern. To save a pattern, hold the save button down and turn the knob to dial in the slot you want to save to. Tap the knob to confirm. To load a pattern, hold the load button down and turn the knob to the slot you want loaded. And again, tap the knob to confirm. You can save and load up to 16 patterns. And finally, let's try some combo moves that are built into this module. Load plus shred instantly shreds all 16 steps. Load plus zero instantly zeroes all 16 steps. Zero plus shred is a pitch shred, shredding the current step but restricting voltages to just one octave. And load plus zero plus shred pitch shreds the entire pattern. 
In addition, the first eight patterns can be quick saved and loaded through some combo moves mapped to the panel. Pressing load or save along with one will load or save pattern one instantly. Pressing load or save along with two will load or save pattern two instantly. Same goes for three and four. Patterns five through eight can be quick loaded and saved by pressing load or save along with next, X, Y, or RAND, which would be patterns five, six, seven, or eight. If this helps, just visualize buttons one through four and buttons next through RAND as a box of eight buttons that you can save and load quickly. So that's it for this 16 step 4 CV output sequencer. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your comments, so let us know what you think. Like and subscribe to this channel as well so you can be the first to see the latest videos from Noise Engineering. I'm Patrick O'Brien, and I hope you enjoy this little jam featuring the Mimetic Digitalis.